Hi everyone, it's Jay Witty. Hope you all are enjoying this premiere train, and I am so honored to be a part of Friday with Friends. So I'm working on a 14 inch round, and I will be using my This Little Piggy pigments for the very first time this evening. So as a base coat, I'm laying down some Bare Ultra Flat Medium Based 1724. It's a gray color. I paid like $9 off the clearance rack at uh, the uh, Lowe's down the street from me. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. The colors that I'll be swiping over, that's the Liquitex Basics Light Blue Violet. Um, then I use the Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. I've got some Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. The piggy pigments that I'll be using in this piece uh, this evening are the, um, the first color is Nebula, which is really pretty. For such a dark color, it's gorgeous. So that's the Nebula right there. And then, and then I have the Enchantment which is so, so pretty. These TLPs just, man, I fell in love with these things. And then Twilight. And in the Twilight, I ended up adding a, just a, like a drop of the Artist Loft Deep Magenta to darken it up. And what do I mean by darkening that up? Well, my pouring medium that I was going to use for uh, this bloom swipe was my standard pouring medium that I use in all my other bloom swipes. It's a mixture of Bare Premium Plus Deep Base 3300. It's a semi-gloss, untinted, um, with a mixture of Minwax Polyacrylic Clear Gloss and some Golden Gak 800. I mix those three products together to create my pouring medium. Then I add my colors too. And so when I first... Uh, took my piggy pigment, which was the uh, Twilight, and added it to that pouring medium. It kind of wasn't as vibrant. Um, I used the uh, Sojanya gloss varnish, or Josanya, I apologize, Josanya gloss varnish, uh, to wet my pigments down. And when I added it to that pouring medium, it really dulled the Twilight down. So I ended up adding some Deep Magenta from Artist Loft to darken it back up. So from that point on, the other three, uh, the other two little piggy pigments, the Nebula and the Enchantment, I did not add to that pouring medium. I actually just used some of the Golden Soft Gel Gloss. And... Um, that was it. So my uh, acrylic colors, the Liquitex colors and the Deco Art Extreme Sheen of the 24 karat gold and then the Liquitex Basics Bright Green, green Aqua and Light Blue Violet, I added to that bare medium deep base untinted pouring medium with the Minwax Polyacrylic and the Golden Gak 800. So if any of that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I did. Um, so I'm playing and I'm learning. And I've not used the little piggy pigments before. Wasn't sure how, quite how they were going to react with everything that I've got going on here. I'm trying to do that deep scoop and stretch that really wasn't working for me um, in, in, in this stage of the game. And I know it doesn't look like much here, but believe me, I work with this. I do a lot of spin out and I just kept going with it. I kept adding two and I was still, even with my swipe, amazed at what these colors were doing, these pigments were doing, along with the acrylic paints. And I was just totally mesmerized. Um, so I'm spinning it out here, hoping for something. And again, this is a technique that I'm still trying to master um, as far as, uh, you know, exactly how you use the palette knife when you go to stretch out uh, for composition, the whole gamut. Um, I don't do I, enough bloom swipes. I haven't done enough to master it yet or to really feel 
comfortable or confident enough in what I'm doing. I'm still learning. And all of this is a process, really. Um, and, and I think we all learn every single time. And it doesn't matter whether we've done it one time, five times, or a thousand times. We're still learning. And each and every time we we run into these hurdles, we, we learn something about the paints and the pigments. And so we take what we've learned and we, we move forward. And this was definitely a learning process for me, but I was still extremely fascinated with what was happening on this canvas. And, um, you know, <laughs> it just... I have a tendency, I just keep pushing myself, I keep going, I keep going, I keep going, and I'm not one to easily scrape. I will exhaust all possibilities before I scrape my canvas. And this is, an, this is a prime example here. I just kept going. I kept moving forward. I kept going, okay, well, this isn't looking right. This isn't looking right. Let's try this. Let's do that. And that's what I do. And if you followed my channel long enough, you'll know that that's just the way I, I work. I very rarely will I scrape. Um, I will work a painting until I'm satisfied. Um, so, and, and usually I end up with something pretty cool. And I got to tell you guys, this piece, when I got done with this piece, I stepped back and I got emotional. I can't tell you why or what, but I got emotional and I teared up, and I got that lump in my throat, and I don't know what it was. I don't know why. I don't know if it was the color combination. I don't know if it was what I was seeing, the, the brilliance and the beauty of these pigments playing so well together on this canvas, but, and I don't have, I mean, I've got some pieces that I'm pretty proud of, um, but of, of all of the pieces that I've done since I started my paint pouring journey, I think I might have had, I've, I've got over 200 pieces, and out of, out of that, maybe one or two other ones have gotten me emotional, and um, this, this definitely has done it. Um, I just love the end result of this piece, and, you know, I, I take you in at the end um, for the close-up of the wet results. I do the dried results, and I also show you the dried results outside. And OMG, these pigments are just incredible. Um, I can understand the addiction. I can understand why <laughs> everybody looks forward to the new colors coming out. And um, just incredible. So... Um, there's a link down below in my description box on where you can obtain some this little pygmy, piggy pigments yourself. Also down in the description box is a link to the collaboration that I'm going to be a part of at the end of the month, Christmas in July. So I ask you to, to check on that uh, by tapping on the title of this video. It'll take you into my description box where all this neat information will be. Um, you'll see all of the artists involved in that Christmas in July collaboration. We're all excited to bring you guys some really phenomenal stuff. And to beat the heat, you can cool down by watching three phenomenal uh, days filled with a total of 25 wonderful artists, incredible artists from around the, the globe. You know, we're crossing time zones to bring you this content. So you'll be able to check that information out down below in the description box. All of the colors, again, that I've used, my pouring mediums are also listed down below. Um, I'll tell you, I'm just... <laughs> A lot, a lot of stuff packed into this. I know I'm talking a lot, um, but, you know, I'm excited. I really am excited to be a part of all of this. So this premiere train started this evening with uh, Nate Bright Art at 640. That was followed by, he was followed with, um, at 7, with Pouring Together with Lance Travis. Uh, Cindy from Cynthia Porter, 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 <laughs> Porter Studios. Wow, I just really botched that up. I'm sorry, Cindy. 
But uh, Cindy with Cynthia Porter Studios was at 720. Oh, she's going to smack me. I can just feel it now. <laughs> and of course, I was at 740. And I'm followed by Art by Donna. She is amazing. She has been extremely helpful. Um, I'm just, like I said, I am just beyond excited to be a part of this uh, premiere train on Friday evenings with uh, Friday with Friends. Wonderful group of people. We just have so much fun talking with each other. Um, I am just so beyond blessed that this community um, is so loving and so kind and so respectful of each other. And uh, I'm just happy, just excited. So here we go, round and around and around. And I, again, like I said, I'm, I keep spinning and I keep working it um, until, you know, I finally get to a point where I feel that I'm satisfied with what I've got or I'm in love with what I got. Or in this case, I become emotional. And boy, I, I can't, why I became emotional. Have, have any of you ever become so emotional over a piece of art that you've created? I would love to hear about it. Um, or at least let me know. You can always drop me a comment down below in the comment section of the video um, and see. <laughs> uh, I'm just in love with this piece. I just, it's so spectacular. And when I take you in for the close up, the details are just incredible. Oh, I'm so in love with these little piggies. So, um, but here we go. The what results are coming up? Guys, look at this. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Look at those details. Look at those colors. Look at the vibrancy. I can't really quite pick up the shimmer, I think, in this. But, oh, my goodness. I was absolutely just in love. Look at, look at that nebula against that turquoise or the aqua green. The 24K gold. I'm glad I used the gray base. Um, it just, all of it came together. That enchantment and the twilight with the deep magenta. And the, look at that light blue violet. Oh, guys, look at this. Is this not just gorgeous? <gasps> I'm just so in love. So in love. So, oh, look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Anyways, like I said, drop me a comment down below. If you're new to my channel, please, I invite you to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And that way you'll be uh, notified when I do post new content to my channel. Look at that, guys. Look, look, look. Oh, I was thinking about naming it Kaleidoscope, but I think I have another piece that I painted a while ago that I named Kaleidoscope. So if you guys have any suggestions on a great name that comes to mind, please, again, go to the comment section on this video and, and let me know what that name would be. Um, this is just, I am so in love, so in love with this piece. Look at that. It's just, look at that. Look at that lacing. Look at the odd. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look, 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 look. Oh, my goodness, what's just coming up? The outside. Wait till you see what it looks like outside. Oh, I am so excited. Here we go. It's coming. Are you ready? And bam. <gasps> look at the beauty on that. Look at the shimmer. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yep, I'm excited. I'm even more excited because guess who's up next? It's going to be Donna with Art by Donna. So in the description box down below, you can just click on the link. It'll take you right to her channel. And um, she is our caboose in this premiere train. And what a beautiful caboose she is. So thanks for joining me here tonight, guys. I'll see you over at Donna's. And until next time, guys, please stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.